Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to take a look at Cubase 10's new audio alignment feature. Now this is one of those things where it can just save an immense amount of time particularly depending on the kind of uh, music that you're working with but for well aligning audio so it effectively takes the timing of one track and then allows you to apply it to another one so to that end I've recorded a deliberately out of time section of voices here so just saying the same thing on multiple tracks and I've deliberately been early and late and screwed up the timing so here's what I wanted this is a journey into sound okay it's not timed to uh, Cubase's tempo at all just to give you an idea that it doesn't need that as a reference um, and then I've got these other ones which I recorded saying the same thing but deliberately screwing the timing up now I would think that most people would be much more accurate than this I was deliberately uh, making a mess of it to illustrate what you can do with this but here we go so here's all five together this, this is, is a journey, journey into, into, into sound. Sound. sound now obviously I'm not going to win any awards for my timing there and most people would be much more accurate than that, but I say it's for the purposes of demonstration. So audio alignment is really, really simple for this. So we've got the new audio alignment tool here. Click that and it opens up the audio alignment panel. And what you do is you add a reference file, which is the file that you want to keep the timing of and apply it to the others. And then you add your target. So firstly, I'm going to click the one that I want as the reference. So that's this one here. So there's voice 102, which is voice one, just second take, because amazingly I managed to get that wrong the first time I did it. And then I'm going to try and align this one. So I'm going to mute the others, and we'll listen to them before. This, this is, is a journey, journey into, into sound. sound. So you can hear I'm a bit late in places. The beginning's not too bad, and so on. So then I'm just going to add the alignment target. So I click on that second track, click the plus. It analyzes it, and then I press align audio. And it does all the free warping that I want. And now the result is this. This is a journey into sound. So you can actually hear that close enough. We're getting some phasing between them, etc. There we go. And we can repeat the process on others. So same kind of thing. So I'll keep that as my reference. Now, when we do it on this one here, I'll just add that there. We click Align Audio. And this doesn't work perfectly. So as we'll hear... This is a journey into, into sound. So it gets most of it right, but the into, it, it misaligns, so it gets the in and the two lined up. So the in of our uh, reference and then the, the two of the target are lined up, which isn't what we want. So we can actually go in and, and get it closer and then get it to fix it for us. So fortunately, all this is doing is using the free warp on audio that we would use anyway. So I'm just going to close that and open this up. And you can see that it's put in some warp uh, tabs and moved the audio around using that. So it isn't doing anything you can't do yourself manually. And if you've, if you've ever done this, you will know it can be a long-winded process getting everything spot on. So what we want is that two to be there. So it should be where the cursor is. So again, opening that up. So I'm going to drag this across using the existing handle and I'm an audio warp, uh, free warp. So I'm just going to drag the existing one rather than create a new one and then just drag this over to roughly where I think it should be. So that looks about right. Now what I want to do is now reapply that so I don't get it right. I could obviously adjust it manually, but I want to do this using audio alignment so so here now here's a point you need to do is you, you need at the moment anyway you need to re-add that as a target because if you haven't changed this it doesn't realize that you've edited it and it will just do the same thing again so in fact if we do that now it just puts it back where it was which isn't what we want so i'm going to undo that to put it back where i'd put it and then i'm going to re-add this here and you see it gives you one, it says it contains real-time effects. To use it as a target, you have to bounce it or overwrite the existing processing. So just clicking line audio would overwrite it, which isn't what we want, but I'm going to bounce it down. So that creates effectively a, a raw new audio file, which hasn't got any of those uh, time warp tabs in. So, and now I'm going to add that. You see it's, it's updated, it says voice three, and then I'm going to click align audio. And now it does it. This is a journey into sound so you can see it's fixed that now obviously there will be a bit of processing artifact in there because you can see the length of the two isn't as long as it was but i've just shown you that even if it makes a mistake you can push it towards the right direction and then get it to do it again 
try it with voice four. So again, we just add that and then click align audio. And let's see what we've got now. This is a journey into sound. So there we go with that, that works fine. And now this last one. So this last one is a fair bit off. This, this is, a is a journey into, into sound. sound. That's miles off, you know, that's really bad. You would probably, you know, adjust it manually if things were that bad anyway, or get your singer to do it again. So this time we got voice five, and now when I align this, you see for the most part, it gets it right. This, this is, is a journey into sound. sound. The only real problem is this has been incredibly compressed into the very tail of the word this. So we're going to look at manually fixing that accurately. So I've left that as a reference point there. So you can see that's where this should start and it's way later than that. So if we go into here, I'm going to close the audio alignment window. And then we've got a number of warp tabs which are controlling that and we need them to be at the cursor position. So I'm just going to drag that one earlier and then drag that one out and now this has been stretched out to roughly where it should be and we listen to the two together this is a journey into sound and then getting rid of all the mutes we've got all five together this is a journey into sound so i'm sounding uh, much more like whatever those creatures were in toy story in the grabber game yeah so Clearly, this is all stuff that you could do manually, and most of us have probably done many times in the past manually, but this is automating something that takes a long time. And while it's not going to be perfect every time, it's going to get really close on a lot of things. And in a lot of cases where I've used it, it's just been spot on straight away. So I was doing something for somebody the other day who had put down uh, eight tracks of doubled wrapping on each uh each part that they'd done and the timing of them wasn't wasn't great it wasn't as anywhere near as bad as this but it wasn't super tight and it was literally a case of doing this process repeatedly and it got everything spot on in a couple of minutes and it's the kind of thing that would have previously probably taken me an hour or two to get anywhere near where i'd be happy with it and it, it did everything spot on because he was really close and fortunately his diction was was pretty good and consistent it was just that the timing wasn't perfect between each take, but it just lined it up and it made it sound really, really good really quickly. So it's already been a massive help. That's the audio alignment tool. Hope you found that useful. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out my book, The Complete Guide to Music Technology Using Cubase 10. It provides you with a thorough grounding in all aspects of using Cubase, music technology and music theory. Follow the link for more information and to order a copy today. Thanks for watching.